For decades, astronomers thought they had the universe pretty much figured out. Tidy models, clear beginnings, predictable rules. But then came the James Webb Space Telescope, and suddenly, the picture doesn't look so neat anymore. What it's showing us is stranger, deeper, and far more mysterious than anyone expected. What if the most powerful telescope ever built has just captured something we were never meant to see? What if everything we thought we knew, the origins of the universe, the laws that govern it, even the nature of reality itself, isn't quite what we believed? Right now, scientists are facing discoveries that shake the very foundation of cosmology. Some of the sharpest minds on the planet are asking questions that have sounded insane just a few years ago. Could the universe be something entirely different from what we've imagined? Was the Big Bang really the beginning at all? And could Webb's discoveries mean it's time to rewrite the story of existence itself? Let's dive into what might be the most game-changing discovery of our time. Before we get started, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more space updates. From the very start of its mission, the James Webb Space Telescope began delivering discoveries no one saw coming. With its incredible infrared vision, Webb sliced straight through the cosmic fog of the early universe, and what it found shattered expectations. Scientists thought they'd be spotting baby galaxies, tiny, chaotic clouds of stars just beginning to form after the Big Bang. But that's not what Webb saw. Instead, it revealed massive, mature galaxies already well-formed, structured, and eerily similar to our own Milky Way. In other words, the universe looked far too grown up for its age. And just when researchers thought things couldn't get any stranger, they did. A team led by Pablo Perez Gonzalez at the Center for Astrobiology in Madrid discovered nine mysterious light sources at the very edge of the observable universe. Six of them appear at a red shift of 17, and three at a mind-blowing redshift of 25. Now, here's why that matters. Redshift measures how much light stretches as the universe expands. The higher the redshift, the farther away we're looking, and the farther back in time we're seeing. Redshift 17 takes us about 200 million years after the Big Bang. Redshift 25, that's only around 100 million years after it, an era that, according to everything we know, shouldn't have had any stars or galaxies at all. It was supposed to be the cosmic dark ages, a time when the universe was nothing more than a blazing soup of particles, too hot and chaotic for light to even exist. It took hundreds of thousands of years for that scorching cosmic plasma to finally cool and form the first atoms, and another hundred million years before stars and galaxies began to shine. During that long stretch, known as the Dark Ages, the universe was silent, invisible, and completely blank. Nothing should have been glowing, nothing should have been there at all. But Webb's images tell a very different story. Somehow, light is bursting from a time when the cosmos should have been utterly dark. These newly detected sources are blazing across the ancient sky from an era when nothing should exist. They aren't galaxies as we know them, and they're not normal stars either. In fact, if our current models are correct, they shouldn't be visible, period. So, what are they? That's the mystery shaking modern astronomy to its core. One leading idea is both bold and unsettling. These may be primordial black holes formed just moments after the Big Bang itself. Astrophysicist Andrea Ferreira from Pisa argues that if early stars can't explain such extreme brightness, something else must be powering it, and primordial black holes are the only real contenders. If that's true, the implications are staggering. Decades ago, Stephen Hawking suggested that primordial black holes might not only illuminate the universe's first moments, but could even act as gateways, portos to other universes entirely. And that's not the only cosmic curveball Webb has thrown at us. Astronomers have also found strange objects they've dubbed little red dots. At first, they were thought to be tiny, compact galaxies, but follow-up data blew that theory apart. These things don't behave like galaxies at all. Now, a radical new idea is emerging. These could be black hole stars, something unlike anything seen in today's universe. Imagine this. A massive early star collapses. A black hole forms at its center, but instead of devouring the entire star, the outer layers remain intact. The result? A bizarre hybrid, a star powered by a black hole heart blazing with unimaginable energy before finally collapsing for good. If that's real, Webb may be catching a glimpse of a cosmic stage once thought impossible to witness, and the deeper Webb looks, the more unsettling it becomes. 
Some of its latest data suggests the expansion of the universe itself might be slowing down. For decades, scientists believed expansion was speeding up, driven by a mysterious force called dark energy. But Webb's findings hint at something far more complex, regions of the universe expanding at different rates, as if dark energy isn't uniform after all. If that trend continues, the universe's expansion could one day stop and even reverse, ending in a cataclysmic big crunch where everything collapses back into a single fiery point. And all this comes on top of the problems astronomers were already struggling with. The so-called Hubble tension, showing the universe expands faster nearby than expected from early data, and the S8 tension, revealing galaxies clump less than models predict, were already deep puzzles. And now, Webb's discoveries aren't just adding to the mystery, they're making it impossible to ignore. And then comes the most mind-bending discovery of them all. When scientists analyzed the spin of more than 30,000 galaxies, they found something that shouldn't be possible. Most of them were rotating in the same direction. According to everything we know from the Big Bang model, the early universe should have been pure chaos, galaxies spinning randomly, no order, no pattern. But Webb's data tells a different story. Even more shocking, the farther back astronomers looked, the stronger that cosmic alignment became. In the universe's earliest moments, galaxies weren't random at all. They were synchronized, almost as if following some hidden rhythm written into the fabric of space itself. And that's where things take a truly wild turn. What if the universe itself is spinning? It sounds impossible, but what if the cosmos isn't perfectly uniform and directionless as we've always believed? What if there's a subtle rotation woven into reality itself? If that's true, then the entire framework of modern cosmology is missing something huge. Every model built on the assumption of a perfectly still, isotropic universe would need to be rewritten. And here's where it gets even stranger. If the universe does have a spin, even a tiny one, it could mean we're living inside something far more mysterious. Some scientists are now entertaining a radical idea. What if our entire universe exists inside a black hole? Picture this, the universe didn't explode outward from a single point in a neat, clean Big Bang. Instead, it might have been born inside the event horizon of a massive black hole that formed in a larger, unseen reality beyond our own. From our perspective, that event horizon would look like the edge of the cosmos itself, the ultimate boundary, the point beyond which no light, no information, no signal can ever escape. Everything we know, the galaxies, the stars, the light itself, exists inside this vast cosmic boundary. And beyond it, in a realm forever hidden from our instruments, could lie something even more extraordinary. The parent universe that collapsed and gave birth to our own. Recently, researchers at the University of Portsmouth have proposed a bold new idea to explain this. They suggest that our universe didn't just pop out of nowhere in a mysterious singularity, it might have been born from the death of another universe. According to their model, that earlier cosmos collapsed under its own gravity, crushing matter to unimaginable density, warping space-time to its limits, and then rebounding. The result? An explosion outward that we now call the Big Bang. In this view, the Big Bang wasn't the beginning of time, but the next chapter in an ongoing cosmic cycle, a bounce from one universe to the next, it replaces the mystery of something emerging from nothing with a continuous chain of cause and effect. And if that sounds unsettling, that's because it is. It means the foundations of modern cosmology, the ideas we've treated almost like sacred truths, might not be as solid as we thought. Dark matter once seen as the invisible glue holding the universe together is under serious scrutiny. Dark energy, long believed to be the steady force driving cosmic acceleration, may not be constant at all. Even the Big Bang itself, the most iconic event in science, could turn out not to be the beginning but just one phase in an endless cycle of creation and collapse. And the cosmic microwave background, the faint afterglow we've always believed was the leftover light from that beginning, may need to be reinterpreted entirely. Every time Webb aims its golden mirrors deeper into the universe, the story only grows stranger. Instead of giving us clarity, it's giving us sharper, deeper questions. 
Instead of closing the book on the cosmos, it's opening new chapters we never imagined existed. Each image, each spectrum, each mysterious galaxy isn't a final answer. It's a cliffhanger, another riddle, another layer of the unknown. Maybe that's the ultimate lesson here. Every time we think the story of the universe is complete, Webb turns the page and shows us there's always more to discover. It's becoming harder and harder to believe we've got the full story. Instead of simplifying the tale of the cosmos, the James Webb Space Telescope has made it far more complex, more unpredictable, and infinitely more mysterious than we ever imagined. So where does that leave us? Right now we're standing at a crossroads in human understanding. The universe we thought we knew is slipping through our fingers. The cosmic microwave background might not be the true echo of the Big Bang. Galaxies are spinning in strange, synchronized patterns that shouldn't exist. And some of the greatest minds in physics are starting to ask a question once dismissed as pure science fiction, what if our entire universe exists inside a black hole? The truth is, the universe isn't a finished equation or a story with a neat ending. It's an unfolding epic with no final chapter, just layer after layer waiting to be revealed. So what do you think? Are we witnessing the end of the Big Bang as the dominant story of cosmology? Are we living inside a cosmic bubble, a black hole, and a greater universe beyond our reach? Or are we just scratching the surface of a reality so vast we may never fully understand it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear what you think. And if you enjoyed this dive into the unknown, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep space discoveries. Because one thing's for sure, the cosmos isn't done surprising us. In fact, its strangest secrets may be waiting just beyond the next observation. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.